understand that among the passengers is a group of sixth grade students from Laporte, Indiana. Is that correct? Larry, unfortunately, that has indeed been confirmed. Seems the students and their teacher were visiting Los Angeles to receive a national award for academic excellence. Oh, Carol, man. have police or the FBI been able to identify the hijackers? No, no. And in fact, at this point, all we know is they have only one demand, and that is to speak with the President of the United States in person. Larry, something is going on. Great. Apparently, someone's coming out of the tunnel. My name is Donald Roper. I work for the Los Angeles County Tourist Bureau. I'm to read a statement from our captors. Here it is. We want America to know we are not terrorists, but patriots. Each of us are veterans who served in the Gulf War and are now gravely ill with Gulf War syndrome. Our demands are simple. That the president come here personally and make a statement recognizing that Gulf War syndrome does exist. We also demand that we be given $300 million in cash as reparation to be distributed to our brothers, sisters, and their families whose lives have been destroyed by this horrible affliction. If the demands are not met, we will kill everyone on the subway. But folks, these men have nothing to lose. I've been told that the cars are wired to blow up. Please, for the sake of everyone down there, for the sake of the children, Mr. President, if you could at least come and talk with these people. Mr. Roper, where are you going? i got to get back to the train. Great. Thirty-three hostages on train 552 are confirmed dead, killed in the explosion. But they also found sarin gas, the same poison Gulf War vets claim they were exposed to during their incursion into Iraq. Soviet soldiers often claim the government endangered their lives, too. We're not talking about the Red Army here, sister. And we're not here to debate military history, Nate. I've been informed there was an important diplomat on train 552. Does that mean we're on alert? Condition one. Well, that's great. Let's saddle up right now. Donovan and I will have a little surprise waiting for those patriots before they even get near those kids. Uh, diplomat, train, whatever. Let's move. Let's go. His name is Mathieu Hummel. He was vacationing in Los Angeles before his trip to the U.N. Peace Conference in South Korea. Hummel, should I know this name? He's the front runner to be the next U.N. Secretary General, Frank. He's also an ally, a longtime supporter of U.S. foreign policy. Now, it hasn't been absolutely confirmed that Hummel was on that train. The burned bodies are still being identified. But the NSA doesn't want us to risk a longer wait. Here's the latest intel from the FBI and the LA police. This one's going to be a pleasure, sir. Remember, your first duty is to save Hummel, then the kids. You got it. step has been cancelled, Frank. What the hell are you talking about? I can't believe this bureaucratic crap. They can't pull a plug on us like this. I don't like it any better than you do, Frank. 
And you're just going to stand there and take it, Bradley? Since Hummel's alive, the mission no longer meets the criteria to warrant a back step. What are you talking about? How can you honestly tell me that a drunken, wife-cheating U.N. delegate can be worth more than the lives of 33 American citizens, 12 of whom are kids? Disasters happen every day, Frank. We can't go back and undo all of it. We're a government operation, not God. And the sphere's fuel source is limited. You surprised me, Bradley. never thought you were a puppet. This trip meant so much to her. It was her first time out of the port, really. It was her first airplane ride. Evan and, and Jessica, they've known each other since preschool. Seems like they were always fighting. <laughs> but I think deep down they really loved each other. And so, once again, an act of domestic terrorism has shredded the fabric of people's lives in middle America as the mothers of the dead children try to make some sense out of this terrible tragedy. All they can do is ask each other why. Unfortunately, no one has been able to do it. The demands are not met. We will kill everyone on the subway. Mr. Parker, where are you going? Out. All right. He screwed up six highly trained government animals and got away. And he left this note pinned to his flight suit. To whom this may concern, I, Frank Parker, resign. I mean it this time. No, it's fine with me. Man has no emotional control whatsoever. If you're a reporter, I've said everything I can say. No, I'm not a reporter. I'm uh, just here to pay my respects. A couple of years ago, Evan discovered an old telescope up in our attic. One night we couldn't find him, and then there he was, just seven years old. Standing on our roof, looking at the stars through that old telescope. You like astronomy? Yeah. He always said he wanted to visit the stars someday. He wanted to be an astronaut. I suppose now he is visiting the stars. In a way. <laughs> 